Hey, welcome back to another video on our PHP and database applications. I'm going to take a look here at the uh, line of control here. We are about ready to do search handler, which is going to rely on the user business services. So we've got the database service here, but the business service doesn't exist yet. This is going to be basically a shell that will call the database service. So let's, let's work on business service, and then we'll come back to search handler. So to understand what our business service is going to do, we need to know the functions that are in our database service. So these are the actual commands that we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to create a new file and it's going to be PHP. I'm going to call it business service and let's call it as a, as a class. Now this is going to require the uh, database service. Now inside of the business service we're going to have the same methods as we did for our user business service. So let's start off with this find by username or find by first name. And now all we have to do to make this actually function is to create a new instance of our, of our database service. And we're going to then take a database service and call the uh, find by first name command and pass it along with the, the n. Let's come back into the user database service and let's take a look inside the function now. This is going to return an array of persons. So you can see return persons array. So let's, uh, let's add that to our business service here. So the eventual goal of this is to do a return statement and it's going to return an array of persons. So let's uh, go to define that and then get it from our, our database service. So we're going to say persons equals an array. Okay, and then find by first name returns that uh, array of persons, so we can just say persons equals that and then returns it. So you can see the envelope idea that all this is doing is calling the exact same function in the user data service and then it returns it and that's done. Now some of you are going to say what's the point? you're just duplicating the exact same functionality of the user data service. And yes, that is true. And so I refer you back to the original documents here that says beginning programmers will see that this adds unnecessary layers. But in the future, we're going to add some ideas that will make the business service more complicated. But for right now, this is the only functionality that we need to make our service work. So now the goal is to take all the rest of the functions here and uh, duplicate those. So we're going to go through this quickly, but you can uh, do it probably without watching the video. Okay, so now it looks like I have all of my functions implemented, so let's scroll through here slowly so you can see every one of the items. 
And now you're ready to go on to create the uh, search handler.